Hi everybody, it's Random Terry here again coming to you from my kitchen. Now, I purchased some squeezy slushy cups from Timu and I had them in my last haul and today we're going to give them a try. So, let me look at my little paper. I kind of breezed through it and I didn't really take note to what it all said. Place your frozen magic cup in the freezer until it's frozen. Yeah, it should be. Pour in your favorite chilled drink. Now, it doesn't necessarily say it has to be sugar content in the drink, in the liquid. So I'm going to try my sparkling ice. What is it? Coconut pineapple sparkling ice. That should taste good. Maybe I'll put some rum in it when it's frozen, but probably won't. Put on the lid and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now you do have to put on the lid and it does put on, it, it's got the, um, what do they call them? The threads in there to get, to get it screwed on corral correctly. Oh my God. Correct and well corral. Recommended you use of beverage type. Oh yeah, I think I was trying to read this before, but it was kind of choppy. Carbonated drinks such as cola, Sprite, play sparkling beverages such as apple, placed less than one minute with smoothies. Juice such as enrichment, also source such as fruit juice. Fruit juice drinks placed less than one minute have a smoothie. Coffee and tea such as oolong tea, coffee, etc. placed less than one minute have a smoothie. I'm not quite getting what that says fully, but it doesn't say anything about sugar content. Doo -dee -doo -doo. Okay. Please do not use sharp objects or blow white ice cup to avoid cold fluid flow. What? <sighs> Let me read that again. Attention, okay. Number one, because of various brand models of refrigerator freezer temperature adjustment by different, sometimes need to put more time, will be frozen. This is a normal phenomenon. Okay. I'm guessing that means freezers vary from freezer to freezer, so you might need more time, maybe less time, to get the thing frozen all the way. Two, after use, please clean and then placed in freezer. Yeah, because I was actually thinking about where am I going to store this? Because I, I have limited, I mean, I have a lot of cabinets in this kitchen, but it's limited because they're full. And that's one thing I need to kind of like purge out some of these things that I don't use. I don't know. But then I see it and it's like, it brings me joy if I do, you know, if I keep it just by having it, I guess. It brings me joy. So I keep things. But things that I have duplicates of, I might start getting rid of. Like, I think I have like three different type of cross type of cross crock pots yeah but there are three different kinds so I kind of keep them all I don't know why I don't know why okay number three please do not use sharp objects or blow white ice cup to avoid cold fluid flow huh okay and four, please do not pull the product into the dishwasher cleaning less cause damage. In other words, don't put it in the dishwasher. All right. Sorry if my butt is going to be in the way. But here we go. Ooh, that helped me get up. All righty. Oh, sorry, I'm out of frame. Just had to adjust. So, oh yeah, this is, um, I'm not going to use my finger. That's hard. This is kind of loose around it a little bit, but then there's like these lines of the cold thing in there. So let's get to it. I am going to place it, well, it's not, I can hold it like that. Okay. Let's get pouring and try this puppy out. And I measured, you can get about eight ounces in here to come up to like that bottom rim. 
Oh my God. Mm, I like this. One of my favorite flavors, the coconut pineapple. Now, it did say to put the lid on, and I kind of figured as much because I had water in this earlier when I was squeezing it. It comes up. <laughs> when you squeeze the bottom, the liquor's got to go somewhere. So it comes up, and I thought, why on earth does this have such a, like a long screw time, I guess. Long screw times, I guess not that bad, really, but we're talking about this. Um, <laughs> keep it clean. Keep it clean. All right, so that is on. My little lid is on tight, and I'm going to proceed to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, gosh, it's like really... This might take a little bit, we'll see. Because when I squeeze, when it's not frozen, I will show you after to see it's kind of hard to squeeze it because they're they're like little hard lines strips of ice in there or whatever it is inside the little um, inside the thing Maybe I let it sit a little bit. <laughs> Don't mind that back there. It is a mess. Here we go. I'm going to stay to the side. Because <laughs> I don't want you to see my mess back there. Come on now. I'm all right. I'm still in the picture. So I keep looking over here. I don't know why. Because that's where I am in the on the screen. So I keep looking at myself to see what I look like. Or what faces I'm making or not making. Okay, it's getting slushy. It does take a little bit, but you know, it's kind of fun to do this, especially if it's a hot day and you're holding this nice cool thing. It is leaking, and I am not sure if it's leaking from under there. Or if it's the, yeah, it must be the inside liquid that's in here. Okay, because the fluid is going up when I squeeze it, but it doesn't come up far enough over that top. So, can you see that dripping? Or maybe it is just the, maybe it is this thing. Let's see. 
gonna be a mess here. Let's see if the threads are wet. A little bit. Maybe it is coming through the. Maybe this doesn't make quite a big seal like when you tighten it up. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's coming from up under here. Well, darn it anyway. Because it is getting slushy. Maybe I was supposed to let it sit a little bit longer before I squeezed it because of, I don't know, because of, I don't know what because of. Okay, let's. Let's go all in. It is slushy. This is pretty much along the same line as when I was little. I had, did I have it or my friend had? I think it might be my friend because my parents wouldn't have bought something like this. It was like a plastic mug and then it had like a white insert that was thicker that you'd take the insert out and you'd put it in the freezer. And then you would take it out and put it in that mug with a handle and then you'd use your spoon and just stir it and eventually it would be slush. And those worked pretty well. And this is working, but I'm squeezing crap out of it, unless I, I don't know. Because it says squeeze, 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 so that's what I was trying to do, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And I'm afraid to taste it because I don't know if any of that liquid and what's in it is in my drink. Yeah. You get me. But, um, darn. You have a nice little mess here to clean up. Yeah, it doesn't smell like the coconut pineapple. I'm not gonna drink this. So, I guess when you squeeze, 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 maybe you have to wait a little bit. Maybe let that, those, um, hard ice ribs or whatever you call them in there. Shall we try the other one? And maybe I'll do it a little bit different way because if I'm going to find out if it leaks, it's going to leak. So give me two shakes and I'm going to get the other one out and maybe clean my fingers and we'll try that one. Okay, I'm back again. I just got done pouring that into the yellow cup so we can see what goes with this one. Literally, I'm kind of afraid to try to squeeze it. I wonder if I need that on when I squeeze it. Okay. Oh my gosh, come on. Snap, there we go. Oh, no. Well, I'm even having an issue putting this on. My goodness. Well, it's not going all the way closed. I don't know why if you need it all the way closed. Unless you put it in the freezer again. When it's chilled, maybe you want to keep it frozen or something. And just the look at it when it's standing, I can see it kind of, no, you can see that on there. It's kind of crooked, the lid, at the top of this. Okay, I squeeze this on, and just as a test, I'm going to just tip it to see if this outer ring leaks. No, it does not nothing. So I think that other one was leaking from the seam. So I have this sitting here for a little bit and it says squeeze, 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 but come on. It doesn't say how long to put it in there, does it? Let me look. 
I'm sorry this is taking so long, but I'm trying to actually test it for you. And we already know one pooped out. I don't know from what it reads. I don't know what that means, but they all seem to say one minute in their statement in the instruction or whatever it is, type of beverages, I guess. Yeah, that other one I'm going to request a refund or return or whatever. Mm, sorry, there's a bunch of dead, <laughs> dead sound on that, but I was kind of getting into squeezing this. It was very calming for me. It is slushing it. I have to say it, it does. The slush thing. Can you see this one? Yeah, this one's really slushy. So this is making slush. Still a little liquidy in there though. But I'm not really quite sure whether I would recommend this totally. I don't think it should take this much work to do it. And I'm afraid to really squeeze it like I was trying to squeeze the other one. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So I am not long. Okay, this is starting to be able to squeeze a little bit better. Yeah, but that really gets really hard in there, so it's kind of hard to squeeze. So. This one so far isn't leaking. I might have just squeezed that other one a little bit too hard, gave it a little too much pressure. I'm trying a little bit easier on this one now. And since it's leaking on the outside, maybe I could put some super glue or something up there to keep it sealed. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go through that much work for these. And I had such high hopes for these. These. Okay. Yeah, it's getting more squishy sushi. There's still quite a bit of liquid in there though. And there's probably more slush in there. So it is slushy. Like a winter meltdown. So that's it. My thing is I don't really recommend it unless you take really good care squeezing it. And that's these cups. Till next time. Bye.